Hi, in this tutorial we are going to learn to classify sound. For example, classify a cat, water, and in this example we are classifying music. So basically uh, we are going to take a WAV file and try to classify what we can hear in this uh, WAV file. So first of all, we are going to install some uh, several uh, Python libraries. We are going to create a, a Conda environment. And this, this uh, Python uh, tutorial is based on TensorFlow and TensorHub pre-trained uh, pre uh, models. So first of all, we are going to create our uh, Conda environment. And then uh, please follow uh, this tutorial, this uh, section of the tutorial, we are going to uh, install uh, several uh, Python uh, libraries. Of, for, of course, I'm going to upload to my uh, GitHub repository uh, an installation uh, text file with all this uh, process uh, as well. So please follow the first step, installing the, the Python library. Now it's the installation of the TensorFlow. Please notice that I'm using a Python GitHub repository I will leave uh, the WAV files, the pre-samples and this install uh, text file with all the, all the pre-process pre of the installation. So now we will uh, choose the, the relevant Python uh, interpreter, our Conda environment and create a new Python file for uh, coding the, this uh, classification. So the first file we will call it uh, step one and let's uh, import uh, the relevant uh, Python libraries. Let's run it uh, just to see that uh, the installation is okay. Uh, simple syntax error, let's fix it. And okay, the import is okay. Let's uh, continue. Next, we are going to load uh, the model. The link will be in the Python file and in the installation file as well. Okay, this is uh, uh, the link. You can see it uh, has the ability to classify audio. So we are going to use the function uh, hub.load and load the bottle. For uh, uh, the first audio, we are going to use uh, a silent audio. So basically, it's a, a number array, and 
uh, we are going uh, to use a mono file that means it's a 16 kilohertz uh, wave file so if we create a numpy array with the uh, zeros it's basically like creating a WAV file with uh, a silent, uh, silent sound. So we can see we are creating a NumPy array based on zeros and a free multiply 6000 uh, is creating a, a silent uh, WAV, WAV file. Okay, let's fix it and now you we can run it you can see I, I printed the shape of the number array and you can see the result so we have a WAV file a silent WAV file and now we are going to to send this WAV file as an input for our model. The model will return three arguments, three parameters, the score, embedding, and uh, another log uh, parameter. So let's uh, run it, just to see that uh, it runs without uh, an error. Okay, it's okay. So let's continue for the next step. Let's print the scores. So we can see that the result is a tensor. But before extracting the information from this uh, score, uh, variable this scores uh, tensor we we need the labels so in order to extract the labels we can use another function that extract the labels from the model there are several steps that, uh, that need to be done first of all we need the path from the labels the path is uh, uh, encapsulated inside the model so let's uh, retrieve this, uh, this path. This is the command for getting the path. And we are converting it to an upper array. We will just print it step by step, step by step, so you can see the path. Okay, this is the path and you can see that the path is pointed to a CSV file. So we need to get this CSV, CSV file and then we are going to load it and read all the lines inside this CSV. And after getting each line, we are going to append it into a simple array that will be named class names. So if the CSV file is, uh, exists and is a, a valid file, we are going to, to read the, the contact of this, uh, of this CSV file using the, the CSV uh, Python library. And let's read it and print it just to see that uh, everything is uh, okay. Basically we we should see all the, the labels inside the, the CSV file. Now I have a, an error. Let's fix it. It should be uppercase. And run it again. So this is a, an object 
uh, of a CSV file. So let's uh, uh, run a, a for loop inside this uh, reader and print each row. Now we should see the labels. So basically you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, several columns. An index is a column, a mid is a column, a display name is a column. So let's extract only the display name. So you can see that there are several uh, sound types, which this is the, the sound labels. So we are going to, to insert into the, the class names array the, the, display, uh, the display name from the CSV file. And after the loop, we are going to, to print our array and we basically will have all the labels inside this array. Let's see what is the length of this as array as, as well in order to see how many labels we have. Okay, so these are the labels and we have 521 labels. So now we are ready to, to uh, extract our score and we are going to, to look for the relevant, uh, the relevant label and if we, if we will retrieve a, si a silence label that means that our model works well. So this is the coding part for extracting the, the highest score from the from the scores uh, return value. Okay, let's run it, and we are looking for the the position of the of our WAV file. So the position is. 494. Now let's uh, find what is the, the label of 494 position. In the first uh, phase let's do it hard code. That means we are going to print uh, the class uh, inside the class name with the position of the 494 and to see if the result is silenced. Great. So now let's uh, replace uh, this hard coded with our uh, variable, the score max. Basically, we have to, to get the same result. Very good. So now we are ready to, to replace a silence wav with a real, real one. Let's try the first one, which is the cat. These are basically our three examples. So we will uh, save our step one and save us a, a new file and we'll call it a step two. And we are going to import uh, two more Python libraries, one uh, called sound file and the other one is sound uh, device. It will help us, uh, one of the library will help us to, to uh, read or, or import a, a WAV file into a NumPy array and the second one will help us to, to, play, to play a WAV file and to hear it. So this is the path uh, for the cat, uh, for the cat uh, sound.
now let's uh, load it we are going to use the sound file uh, python library this uh, python library has uh, a function called uh, read and if you send it uh, the path for the WAV file it returns, the, it returns uh, two variables one is the WAV itself and the second one is the sample rate as I mentioned earlier it should be a, a 16k mono uh, WAV file and the WAV uh, form variable should be a numpy array so these are the the return argument of this uh, read the function so let's print the sample rate and see if it's uh, 16 and uh, 16k yes that is okay and let's print the type of the waveform and see if it's uh, a number array as well Yes, that is okay. And I I made all the rest of the code as a, as a comment, and now we will open each comment and continue with running the model. As for now, let's play the the web file and to hear this uh, cat, this cat sound, just for testing. Okay, the test is uh, okay. So we are ready to continue for the model. So let's uh, uh, uncomment all the process of uh, getting the labels. and of course getting the score max and after getting the score max let's uh, play uh, play the sound so this code will run the model uh, classify the sound play the sound and let's wait 10 seconds to hear the sound and let's run the code you can see it's a cat and you probably heard the sound so it's work fine let's let's try another sound let's try the the water sound so we change the the path for the for the sound file we change it to the water and basically run it the same as the pre previous sound okay it works fine as well so let's run the third one the music So you can see that the code works fine, you can try your own sound file, you can use the code, it's free. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, thank you very much.